Hey there, welcome to graphical user interface in MATLAB. To start with GUI in MATLAB, you need to type guide in the command window. Let, let that be the default blank GUI that I'm going to create right now and click on the OK button. I'm maximizing the visual space and I'm going to use four push buttons for this GUI. To copy, uh, to duplicate a push button, all you need to do is Control plus D. As I'm gonna use four, I'm just gonna use two more right now. So the push buttons to modify the tag and string property of the push buttons, you just need to right click on it and click on the property inspector. this push button I'm gonna use now it's going to load an image so if under the string property of the push button I'm going to change it to load an image and under the tag property the track uh, the tag property is the one in which you will be able to write the functions what the load an image can do so let it be a uh, load image that's going to be the tag tag property of this push button and for the second push button I'm going to change it to let me say um, MSRCR the MSRCR stands for multi-scale readynix and I had implemented on uh, I had implemented the algorithm so like let me say this my MSRCR that's going to be the string property and the tag property it's let's say it's algorithm 1 that's the same for these two push buttons right down here this push button uh, contain uh, I'm planning I'm making it to contain the uh, codes of the NASA's multi-scale ratings so let me say it as NASA MSRCR and the tag property of this push button let me change it to I'll go to For the third one, I had made adjustments to the multi-scale Redenix, so let me call it as modified modified MSRCR and the tag tag let it be algo 3 so the, your GUI is going to be looking like this to activate the GUI, you need to press on the play button over here. I just ask you to, uh, you need to make some changes, so click on S and uh, type GUI underscore first. As this is my first GUI, it's gonna create an M file and a fig file. Yeah, I'm just gonna replace it again. Replace. There you go. When I'm going, uh, this is the fig file, and this is how your GI is gonna look like. When I click on the load an image, nothing is gonna happen because, like, I haven't attached the codes right now. So, in the corresponding GUI underscore first, I'm gonna attach the codes and we are gonna change four functions, uh, the four functions corresponding to the push buttons. So, in the callback. Uh, this one is the load, uh, load image and the callback function. So let me end this function first, and I'm going to copy the codes from the other program so that it reads an image. Once this is done, you need to update uh, update the GUI data. So like GUI data, it's going to be like H object and handles. The reason why I updated this uh, GUI data a uh, H object underscore uh, comma handles is because I'm going to create one more handle. It's going to be handles dot image equals image. So this is where I create a handle for the image property uh, image, and 
how I did this right. I also need to end the other function so that uh, the GUI runs successfully. MATLAB doesn't allow you to have a nested functions, so you, you need to end all the functions that you're going to create. So here, under the callback function for algo1, I'm going to copy paste the codes from my other trials. Once this is done, you need to uh, get back the handle for image over here. So it's going to be image equals handles.image. So here you get back the image from the uh, load image callback over here. This image equals handles.image, it gets the handles from here as you had updated this GUI. So I'm going to do the same for the other two. Once this is done, you need to save your GUI and you're ready to run it. Click on load an image and it loads an image. Image database. I'm going to select this image for here, for the test purpose. And this one is a multi-scale rendering that I had implemented. Clicking on it. So in the left top corner you can see the original image and in the bottom you can see the multi-scale retinings that I had implemented and this one is going to be the NASA's multi-scale retinings and the third one is my modified multi-scale retinings Yeah, so this one is the original image, and this one is multi scale retinix for NASA's, and this one is for my algorithm. This concludes the presentation. Please rate and subscribe. Thank you.